Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com This is uh, What is this? Let me bore you to sleep That's it It's a let me bore you to sleep session This is the third one I think My name is Jason Newland and this will be available on YouTube, it will be available on iTunes, uh, SoundCloud and various other podcasts. So if you like what I do then please let me know. Only listen or watch this when you can safely close your eyes as this may cause drowsiness hopefully so all I'm going to do I'm just going to talk and I would say that any time you decide to relax completely and close down your mind and let yourself drift into a pleasant sense of comfort. Make sure beforehand that everything else is kind of sorted out. So, you know, don't don't be leaving stuff in the oven, or you know, make sure the iron's turned off, or maybe turn your phone off or on silent so that nobody. Can disturb you. Of course, if you're waiting for an important call, then maybe you're unable to do that, so it's totally up to you. And ideally, pick a time when you won't be disturbed by friends or family or whoever. You know, it's not always that simple, and interruptions happen, and it's okay. It just is what it is, and if we worried about stuff like that, then it would uh, go against what we are accomplishing here. The idea is to just release those concerns, and it's not just about relaxing your mind and body course that would happen naturally even if all I did was just talk about anything really providing it wasn't um, I guess something controversial or something I imagine sitting here talking about World War 2 wouldn't be that relaxing <laughs> with those strange uh, <laughs> thing to do but the idea behind these let me bore you to sleep is although I am focusing on you sleeping not just now maybe not now maybe this is something you're listening to in order to practice that sense of drifting off into a pleasant space where you can just relax because the thing is with sleeping it's it's a little bit like a fart it should never be forced never force a fart never you can't force in fact I would go even further is you can't force sleep and though you should never force a fart, you can force a fart and have to uh, buy new clothes. So the thing is, not a good thing to do on a first date either, apparently. So you can actually not force sleep. 
You can't force yourself to feel relaxed. You can't force somebody to fall in love with you. You can't you can't force yourself to enjoy a meal. You know, you can it doesn't work that way and I think that's what we try and do. I'm sure you've tried to do it in the past. I know I have. I've lied down and on the bed and tried to like will myself to fall asleep, will myself to drift off and to let go of the thoughts I'm thinking. But it's counteractive, it's counterproductive, in other words, that start with counter. It doesn't work. It's like hitting a tennis ball against a wall but not wanting it to bounce back at you it's going to keep bouncing back and getting frustrated you know hitting a wall and being frustrated because your hand is hurting you have to stop hitting the wall it's the only way Or shouting at a baby that's crying. Shouting at a baby and telling, shouting at the baby to stop crying. Doesn't work. Mind you, the occasional baby will look up at you as if to say, and I'm the baby? You're shouting at me and I'm crying. You're shouting. You're not supposed to be the baby. With a big eyes looking up at you. Like E.T. Without a bicycle. So. This is just me talking. That's all it is. There is nothing else to it. Other than me. Just talking. And that might seem a bit strange. But. You can't force you to go to sleep. You can't force yourself to go to sleep. I guess maybe taking sleeping tablets is a way that some people can, I guess, force themselves to fall asleep. But the idea of this is to be able to fall asleep deeply and relaxed naturally, you know, in your own time. Everyone takes a different amount of time. Some pe- some people get so bored with my voice that within a few minutes they just they've gone and they're just fallen asleep. And part of that, because personally, I think I've got an amazingly exciting voice. I could, uh, yeah, I, I could think I could sell mattresses. I've got a good voice like that. Uh, anyway, the thing about the connection is when you start connecting with something you start connecting these let me bore you to sleep sessions with an outcome and the outcome may be hopefully getting very bored and drifting becoming sleepier and just allowing yourself to let go really and every time you watch or listen to these sessions or any other sleep session you'll find that you'll naturally struggle to actually keep awake because really it's the other way around if you really at a basic level have you ever been somewhere maybe talking to somebody that's talking and going on and on I'm the equivalent of that I am your whistle then when I spoke 
equivalent. Equi I don't know what that is. I started whistling lately when I say. So imagine sitting with me and it's late at night and you're really tired but you don't want to be rude but you're really tired and all you want to do is go to bed but you don't want to be rude to me because for some reason I just keep talking and talking and talking and none of it is interesting. None of it. And occasionally I do say something that maybe is mildly interesting and you it perks you up and you're so grateful for that little bit of interest that you accidentally ask a follow up question. And as soon as you've done that you regret it because you know that you've now given me permission to keep talking for much longer than you can ever tolerate and your brain starts to switch off and your eyelids are trying to close and you have to fall <laughs> have to force your eyelids to stay open and your ears oh bless your ears I don't want to listen to this anymore you're worried that you're going to wake up and your ears have left you and not left you a note a dear John letter you know had left you for someone else with less boring friends. Oh. And I'm still there talking. Talking and talking. On and on. On and on. And all you want to do. You literally could lay down. Where you stand or where you sit and fall into a deep, deep sleep. It wouldn't even be falling, it would just be instant. And there'd be such a relief associated with being able to close your eyes. Because you know that if you could do that while I'm sitting there talking to you, if you could just close your eyes, you know that that person boring you so much that you would welcome them to keep talking because it's like a little symphony a symphony of complete pointlessness spreading relaxation over your body calming your mind and soothing every part of you calming loose and to be able to just have your eyes closed and still hear my voice but you know that at least you haven't got to keep your eyes open anymore there's no more pretense and the thing is I'm still talking I've not even noticed you know <laughs> You've made a bed on the floor in front of me. Got a pillow there. You know, you put your pajamas on. Cuddling a teddy bear or a little elephant or whatever it is you cuddle at night. And maybe you've got a little hat on. And I've not even noticed because I'm so busy talking. talking going on and on and on and then you can feel
feel so grateful that you no longer have to look at me. <laughs> you feel grateful that you can close your eyes, but at the same time not upset me because I'm so unaware that I'm just happy to be able to talk at you. The fact is you could probably leave the room and immigrate to another country come back 20 years later and I'll still be there talking going on and on and I'll still look amazing <laughs> so you can just enjoy knowing that it's okay to close your eyes it's okay to let go it's okay to accept yourself It's okay to be in this moment. And the good thing about these sessions, apart from I get a chance to talk and talk and talk and be more boring than the last you know, yesterday even more boring than I was yesterday it's brilliant for me helps to soothe and calm your mind thing is with the mind it's not just about calming down and releasing and letting go of something that you might have been worried about or concerned about it's also about letting go of things that you're excited about and interested in forgetting about the people you love forgetting about things that you're looking forward to doing it's about letting everything go in this moment it's not about deleting that stuff it's just about you know if you've got a book you can read the book you don't have to carry it around all the time you could put it down, do something else. And maybe when you're cooking, your dinner, or traveling to work, or watching television, or giving the cat a bath, you're not thinking about that book necessarily. But then when you actually go and pick the book up again, Everything's there. Everything that you've read is then available to you again. The memory of, you know, the book so far. And our minds are very much like that when it comes to things that are needed to be done and I think maybe that's why some people don't maybe they struggle a little bit with the idea of letting go because perhaps they've got so much responsibility that they don't want to uh, forget anything but you know what if 
that's a concern, write it down. And if it is important, it's highly unlikely you're going to forget. But no matter how important it is, even if it's something, you know, really, really huge going on within a family, about a loved one, you know, you might be getting married tomorrow. You don't need to think about that today. Maybe you need to think about it before you listen to me. Maybe you'll need to think about it after listening to me. But right this second, you don't need to think about it. Because in this moment, nothing is so important as to get in the way of your comfort and relaxation and sleep anything that needed your attention before listening to me will still be there after listening so it can be dealt with then after you've had some sleep and this is a point that I will be making in the future as well the idea of letting go of everything for this period of time Enjoy your sleep and I'll see you next time. Bye.